Um, next one that we're going to take a look at is a cross grab into um, cooking washing. Now, what we're looking for here is I get into position and my partner is going to cue bending their elbow and pulling back. This is to simulate that I missed control of the arm, that I didn't get good control of the elbow, and he has the opportunity to save himself. When he starts to withdraw, using the bottom two fingers with my sword grip, I'm going to keep control of his forearm with the goal of ratcheting this elbow up. So I'm turning in a spiral manner to get to here. From here, I can keep this tension. I don't want to stay here in this range. I want to be here in a nice, safe position. From there, I can reach underneath and get the pinky side grip. On the pinky side grip, I bring it up and start to rotate it around. Now, the base way that we teach this when people are getting started is to take that elbow, rotate it down, rev the motorcycle and drop to the inside knee. This is a nice, safe way to get somebody to the ground. From here, I can put outward pressure on the elbow, roll them over into an arrest position. So here's what the basic drill will start off looking like. Up, get my grip underneath, step back and bring them down. It can stop right here. The goal is as you're moving along, and there's a lot of torque here, so ease into these. The goal here is to eventually get them to a point that they're off balance and I could throw cross body or I could stretch them out. So if I'm stretching them out, I'm coming here. And if I'm throwing, you feel comfortable to throw? Sure. Let's have you jump into this one. Same setup. I'm coming across by and throwing, uh, uh, going fishing basically, right? So what I'm looking for here, here's another simple way to just practice the technique is up and catch, okay? What I'm doing is when I do my throw, I take a step, I start to articulate at the knee and my goal is to bring his elbow up and over an arc as if, as my body weight is moving forward, in order to, to move him off balancing. So another way to get into your, your cooking mawashi, um, I can come here and this is the same position I would be as if uh, he was uh, punching. Okay, I can intercept the same here. Now, when I start to articulate this forearm, instead of stepping to the outside and reaching around, if this person is my height, or taller, then I have an option of coming underneath, grabbing the hand as I pass through, and then everything else is the same, okay? So since you guys have a little bit of a height difference, this might be a better option for you, and then you can get to any one of these, these positions, a throw position, a drag position, or the rev the motorcycle and sit them on their bus position. Everything's the same. I enter, I come up, I'm passing underneath. Now watch this free hand. It's coming under, it's getting a grip on the far side shoulder. The important part here is I first have to have the wrist. I can't, I can't get into that position and then try to tighten up the wrist. I have to have good control of the wrist and I reach through and I anchor. Once I have control of the person, I want to keep them off balance a little bit in case they struggle. It's a lot easier for me to control. Okay. Okay. So just like the, the first two techniques in here, we're now going to add everything to a punch. Uh, so to a regular ski and to a ski gaku ski combination. So just for demo real quick, 
just off ski, boom, and then everything else will be exactly the same. And then ski, got the ski combo, one, two, and then everything else is the same, okay? We'll pick that piece up and then we'll add to it. Okay, let me show you something I think will be very helpful for you. So this is the difference between me moving around a joint and moving this joint around me. Um, he's gonna punch, boom. Now, if I'm in too close and this is in place and I'm trying to move around it and then I'm trying to tighten everything up once I get back here, it, it's gonna to be too late. I'm gonna end up choked or just plain pounded with the other arm. So watch, if I come here, see all the space I have? And now instead of me, going under the bridge, if I need to tighten this up anymore, then I bring the bridge around me, roll it over, and I'm able to keep more tension all the way through. You can do either one if you've already taken out the slack, but if you get to this position and they're still loose, then bring them around you and it'll tighten everything up faster. So we've got one more technique that goes along with this um, Kutumawashi. Whether it's a punch, whether it's a grab, whether I enter with an outside grip or whether I go under the bridge, doesn't matter. But once I get to this point, if I have not changed his balance, if he's not up on his toes or he's not twisting to try to relieve pressure, if I don't have good control of his body and I get this far, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to relax this grip slightly and I'm going to turn and reach over. Let's turn, please. Once I get into this position, I'm immediately going to come back, figure four lock, and then I can turn back in, and I'm not pushing with the hand, okay? If I push with the hand, he can walk in circles with me all day long. That's me pushing. So what I do is this becomes the fulcrum, the hand becomes the anchor, and I'm pulling his elbow pulling his elbow. And then we're not walking around in circles chasing each other. So Thor, can I get you for this one? Exact same thing. I get set up. Once I get in position, if I don't have it, I reach through, let's turn please. Once I get my figure four, I'm gonna drop on my inside knee as I pull his elbow down with me. And that's the last piece of Coach Washington. We're gonna go back to the drill where one partner is going to attack five times and then the other partner is going to attack five times. If their momentum is forward, then you're still gonna take that Udigatame just like you did the very first drill. Or as soon as you get control of the arm, your partner is gonna pull a sharp elbow back to cue you that you didn't have good control of the elbow in which case you'll go into any of the Kochimawashi follow-ups. So, no Ariminage this time. It's only Ujikitame straight arm controls or cue them with the elbow up as a pullback and then that'll feed them for the Kochimawashi.